In today's episode, we're going to talk about a subject a lot of people kind of either shy away from or talk a lot about. It's called pumping. All right, let's discuss. Yo, YouTube, what up? Army ATC 22 coming back at you with episode two of Let's Discuss. And like I said in the intro, what the topic we're going to be discussing today is about pumping. It can be about certain players. It can be about certain cards. It can be about products. It can be about your own content. Yes, content creators pump their own content. Um, but... A lot of people don't like to discuss it. You'll have the individuals that talk about it all the time on social media and stuff, but no one really deep dives and discusses why they actually do it. So, you know, start off with the business aspect. Everyone's fully aware. If you're a business, if you're a breaker, if you're a local card store, if you are uh, an auction house, if you're one of the one of the manufacturers like Topps, Fanatics, um, Panini, Upper Deck, right? It's marketing. That's all it is, right? Pumping a product, a card, a set, something like that is marketing for them. Now, if you see it over and over and over, that's where it turns into people thinking it's a pump, right? I want to expand on a little bit farther than just marketing aspect, right? There are certain cards that I feel over time has been pumped and people just, I don't think they understand why, right? So I want to use, for example, the first one is the Kobe LeBron Chrome card, right? This card right here is a card that a lot of people say is an iconic card. It's a base card. That's all it is, people. It's not a special insert. It's nothing super crazy except it's a card that people said is iconic because two of the greats are on the same card the same as like this card yes the lebron tribute from prism right the iconic pet pose everything else again that is another card that individuals influencers individuals online people that collect certain players and stuff like that kind of pumped those cards up it's another base card that's all it is i meant the lebron is a what <clears throat> like 14 year base card what 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 jordan cards that are just base cards doing you know right that are about the same type of concept now it's not the same concept the players they're with and everything right but it's more the fact of it's it, why, why are they so expensive? Why is that card so expensive? For a collector, for someone that is a Kobe collector or a LeBron collector or collector of the game, I can see where that can be at. But the individuals trying to, you know, flip and everything else and stuff like that, that shouldn't be, it, I, don't, I don't believe, it's not an iconic card. There's so many times Kobe and LeBron we're on the court together, played against each other, right? That, that's, it's just, it's crazy. The tribute dunk for LeBron. Why? Why is that card more expensive than other cards in that set? Right? So, <clears throat> use caution, right? That, you know, a lot of the stuff you see out there, people are either doing it for a gain or whatever. Right, I can ramble on about this all day long, especially about those two cards because I feel in my mind they are base cards. Now, pe numbered parallels, they're lower numbered, everything else, it's a completely different story because of the rarity of those cards. But those base cards, those regular base cards, you have the same odds of getting that one base card than the rest of those cards in that base set out of that product. All right, but moving on out of that, out of that soapbox I'm on top of, right? Talk about products. Um, a lot of people pump up multiple products because they're trying to sell it. They've seen in the past, this product does this, that, or whatever. But a lot of individuals that do more of the pumping, right? 
aren't in the same aspect that we are as collectors. They're, it's, it, it's hard to argue that. We as collectors here on our side aren't spending the thousands to ten thousand millions of dollars to getting all this product to open, to break, and everything else, right? We're getting we're we're using those those hard earned dollars that we've used scrapes, we've traded for, we've done whatever to, to possibly open a few things. And a lot of times we get burned. We do. So why why do you feel like when individuals just like pump, 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 it, it's terrible? It's because us we are are tired of getting those dud boxes while other people are getting loaded cases right and other things they if they are hey good for them right if they're not they're opening up so much of it they're bound to hit some stuff that's understandable right so that could be going on for another day with the whole loaded boxes debacle everyone's talking about the one the one caveat I have with that, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of venture off real quick on the trail. If you believe breakers, certain breakers have loaded boxes and you have money and you're buying boxes from your LCS, why aren't you just going to those breakers and buying like Persian boxes, honestly? Like if you believe their cases, everything they have is loaded, you should be buying from them. Those cards could be yours, right? But that's all I got to say about that. Um... <clears throat> So there's a lot of a lot of influencers out there or people that think they're influencers and stuff like that. I'm far from one myself. Um, I just like coming on here, rambling, talking, showing off my stuff because it is an outlet for me. This whole aspect of YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, everything else for me is an outlet. It's an outlet for me to get away from my everyday life, enjoy something that I, I like. I love discussing sports. I can do it all day long. Um, and the sports cards aspect brings a little bit of money into the side and everything. And I love trading and talking to everyone online. There are some bad apples out there, though. Apple people out there, they're just for the wrong, the wrong um, reasons or false reasons. Ones that are shielded, that, that f they think they're doing the right stuff. They're doing the good stuff, but they're probably not. They just don't understand it. Um, you have the individuals out there that... That have, that have been in this hobby for years and years and years, you know, decades, like myself, and there's the ones that have just started recently. Um, every, everyone's different. I love that. Everyone loves that. But there's certain things as a person coming on as a content creator or, you know, getting your personal life out there that you, you just don't need to do, right? When it, we're going back to the pumping aspect, you know, pumping your own stuff. It's fine. Tell individuals, hey, find my podcast here. Uh, go go listen to my interview here. This is cool. You know, this and stuff. Um, you know, it, 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 it's completely fine. But you don't need to shove it down your faces constantly over and over and over again. Right? Um, some people will take that in the wrong way and think that, okay, I, I'm getting sick of seeing you. You know, calm down. Right, but uh, one of the, one of the things that that I also don't like is is the fact that individuals talking about their sponsorships, right? The companies that they're sponsored with and everything else. You you can clearly tell if you're sponsored with someone. It's not hard, right? It's not hard at all. You're gonna you're gonna do more videos about them. Everything else. You're gonna see that happening. It we're, we're it's a no brainer, right? You don't have to tell us in every other sentence. I'm sponsored by this. I'm not sponsored by this, you know, opening up this and, but I'm not sponsored by them, whatever. Right. We don't care. We, we quit trying to, to constantly gloat honestly about that aspect. Um, because some of us out here are trying to do this, um, for fun. Getting a little bit on the side is, is always a great thing. Cause it add to it. Right. But come on people. Like, seriously, if someone's going to watch your stuff, they're going to watch it for a reason. It's, honestly, they will. Like myself, I've told other individuals, I've told Mac this um, multiple times. I watch podcasts off of, watch podcasts, listen to podcasts off of what the title is, what the subject is, who's there. Like, there's individuals, like, um, kicking it with the crew, you know, I've, I've known Ryan, Neil and all of them for the longest time, and I... I, I die hard listen to every single one of their episodes because I've known them for so long, right? 
Um, I have more connection with with Mac, Mac Car Collection, and and Stock and Trade. So I listen to theirs all the time. I listen to work. I have certain days I listen to podcasts. Um, but there's some some out there that are just. I don't understand how or why they believe that their their voice is hard to say this without without ruffling some feathers or hurting some people's feelings to actually doing anything like yeah yes it's a, it's a space to sit there and talk about whatever you want like just like this is right you know by no means is do i feel like anyone has to agree with me this is my space my my objections and stuff like that but you know um i i, I feel like there's there are a lot of different individuals out there pumping out different content that some people are just, uh, they, they, I don't know if they're really meant for this type of hobby space. Um, the interactions with individuals, the, the way that you, you have to be a strong individual. You, you can't be, it's really, really hard in this hobby to be passive. If you are, you'll get steamrolled all the time, period. Not saying everyone has to be an alpha male or female out there and stuff but you got to have a voice you got to speak up you can't just hide behind I'm, I'm i'm not trying to hurt anyone's feelings i'm i'm this and that right I'm, I'm not i'm not trying to ruffle any feathers and everything like sometimes you will these are our opinions this is the way this is what america makes it the way it is this is what i technically fought for right is these rights these freedoms so be yourself stand up for yourself and just don't, don't, a lot of times don't hide behind the camera, period. I know I won't. Um, but going back, you know, in today's market now, you know, for, I'm going to use a prime example. You know, I love Blaze. I do. I love everyone out there. You know, Scott, Chad, Jared, um, Jags, Hama, you know, the whole team, even shipping. Dillman, I see you. I see you. Um, I, that, that whole team is great. But some of the things, like talking about the recently, the Wemby picture in Prism, how the way it looks and everything, how it's going to be iconic and stuff, it, it's not. It's just his Prism rookie. Some of the inserts and other ones of him in Prism look better than that. The sales, like his first post, his least recent post on it, talking about the sales, go prison base going for hundred dollars. Duh, it just came out. Hobby hasn't been released yet, and retail somehow dropped early, got on shelves. I got some myself. Um, so I understand you're going to be there to talk about that, and that's more of trying. It is trying to pump it, but I believe some of those hot takes just need to be left on the cutting room floor seriously so so the whole thing wrapping this up when i'm talking about pumping um try not to as a collector as someone in this hobby space to really engage in that type of same content um if unless you strongly feel it don't let someone else the media everything else force you into doing the same thing Right? Do make your own decisions on something, and if you strongly feel like that should be pumped, describe why. Give the examples. Show facts. Show all that stuff. I'm giving you my opinion on this when it talks to the previous, you know, base cards that that people have pumped up to products and everything else. Prism for prime example recently been pumped from every which way, right? And guess what's about to get pumped even more is the Bowman Chrome U basketball that's going to come out with the dual logo, dual, not logo, man, dual auto of, of the James and Brawny. If you are about to see that come full force, which, however, you have that product coming out, but still this year's Bowman Chrome U basketball, the Wemby Super Auto is still sitting in one of those packs. If there's anything that needs to be pumped right now, is why aren't we finding that card? That card arguably is the best card that he'll ever have, period. 
A lot of people are saying that the inscription that he has on there being his first signed, I don't think so. A one-on-one super on-card auto, Bowman first. Everyone knows if you know baseball, Bowman first is the way to go. It's got to be the card. And it still hasn't been pulled, but why aren't we talking about it? Wimby is just had his first triple-double, and his stats are incredible. His stats are better than Chet. Chet just has a really good team that he's on compared to the Spurs. But Wimby's stats are so much better. So the pump from him right now, he's showing that he's he's living it up. Right? So why aren't we searching for that super auto? Because we have now ventured off into the basketball realm of LeBron James inside Topps products in the future. Just remember, he can't have an NBA auto or jersey or anything with Topps for two more years. So there's going to be a lot of pumping of his high school stuff or airbrushed. That's all I got for today. If you liked it, comment below. If not, hey, it's understandable. I completely understand, right? It's our opinions. Um, I can go on for this for a long time. I'm trying to make these all not so long because yes, it's just right now 15 minutes of me rambling. <clears throat> but like, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit me up on my other platforms, Instagram, TikTok, right? Every once in a while I go on a whatnot, I sell on whatnot. I'm at shows in the Round of Virginia area. Coming up in a few weeks, I'll be at Culture Collision. If you're gonna be at Culture Collision, just let me know. All right, hope to see all guys there. Thanks as always, deuces.